There are more possible games in chess than there are atoms in the universe. But wait, how did they count the atoms of the universe? Well, no one did. This is just an estimation. Since dark matter and dark energy make up 95% of the observable universe, and they as far as we know aren't made up of atoms, all we would be calculating is how much atoms in the 5% of ordinary matter in the universe, which should be a constant number at all times because energy cannot be created or destroyed. To be able to calculate this, we would need to make some simplifying assumptions. The first is that all atoms are contained within stars, and the second is that all atoms in the universe are hydrogen atoms, even though hydrogen makes about 75% of everything. So simply put, there should be around 10 to the power of 24 stars in the universe. On average, each gram of matter contains around 10 to the power of 24 protons, or hydrogen atoms because they only have one proton. A star weighs around 10 to the power of 30 kilograms. So dividing that by this gives us roughly 10 to the power of 80 atoms in the observable universe. And now enter chess, a board game of Asian origin that dates back to at least the 7th century. It is played on a board of 64 squares with 16 pieces for each player at the beginning of the game. Each player has 8 pawns, 2 knights, 2 rooks, 2 bishops, 1 queen and a king. Game on and white goes first, and the first player has 20 different options options to play from, after which the second player also has 20 different responses, and depending on what they play and what pieces get exchanged and taken off the board, a player can have more than 35 legal moves to play from, and the game itself could go on even past 80 moves. So 35 to the power of 80 or 10 to the power of 120 is the number of possible unique chess games, which is way bigger than the number of atoms in the universe. 